Welcome in everyone. It's good to have you guys here again. Uh, it's a Monday. Pretty nice day today. The uh, weather is pretty pleasant. Um, we're going to be working on this where I have been working on this yellow GTS and in the midst of getting it all put together and working on it, I figured I'd try to uh, show you what I'm doing. Cleaning it up, we're going to ceramic coat it and then we're going to put a top coat on it, uh, detailing it top to bottom completely so it's about to be on the market here soon I just want to share with you what we're doing uh, I've already gone through it on the undercarriage the bottom side we've cleaned the suspension uh, a arms the entire underside we do top to bottom spick and span um, we service them uh, we try to make them as best as we can uh, given what we have to work with we just put brand new tires on it Continentals um, zero miles uh, we uh, color sanded it and rebuffed it out got the shine out perfect and uh, right now what I'm doing is uh, vacuuming the interior I just finished cleaning up the glass from all the water stains all the hard stains I used my uh, mini buffers. I just finished vacuuming in here. There's some stains down in there. Uh, just put some nice interior spray in. Meguiar's protected shining. Keep all the panels nice and lubricated. And I used my mini buffer to get the glass in all the small areas, crevices. Uh, we ended up putting a nice uh, black gas cap for it. And um, right now, like I said, I was working on the cleaning up the interior until I started deciding, hey, I'm going to share it with you guys on the channel. So I haven't done none of this. It's fairly clean. Took the speakers out in order to do like the, the speaker grills. We uh, reflash those and repaint them, refinish them to make them look nice and new. Uh, interior's pretty darn clean, really nice. Like I said, it's, uh, it's all original. Never been tampered with as far as uh panels and painting we've seen some pretty bad ones that were uh not sure what people shouldn't have been messing with them so anyways see all that mess there <laughs> i gotta get out just random crud that accumulates um some of the floor mats that i gotta clean up that i'm about to like i said i just started pulling stuff out of it so i can vacuum and get it detailed but i wanted to show you and share you share with you guys <coughs> what I'm doing I figured why not make a video beautiful GTS coupe not even ceramic coated yet and you can see how beautiful the shine is but we want this shine to stay and we want it to lock in and once we put the, the coatings on there the thing is just gonna last for whoever buys this thing they're gonna be very pleased with it I mean you can see clean title car it's all it's immaculate beautiful and I'll show you the engine bay once I get it all detailed uh, actually you know what let me let me pop it open for you now that way you can see what it looks like right now all right so I'll show you how to pop the hood on these there's a handle down in here and once that pops open you got the safety latch that goes right here and obviously it's hard for me to do it with one hand I don't have a, a hand to help me uh, there we go it's hard to do it with one hand and with these vipers what you want to do you never want to pull off on just one end and have the other end slagging obviously uh, what you want to do since I don't have a hand right now what I would do is put one hand here lift off here and then one in the center but I'll do my best to get it up there we go it's hard to do it one hand like I said but what I would usually do is have one hand here and one in the center and then you pry up but, or if you have a buddy just go ahead and have one on each end but it's not a big deal uh, it needs a little love but it's not the worst thing I've seen ever so this one's has been gone through already uh, we've done the coolant flushing uh, I believe we've done some of the servicing as far as like uh, uh, the coolant actually 
no i'll take that back what we did was we, we did the coolant flush uh the hoses have already been done the um power steering pulley has already been done i'm not sure if it has a power steering bracket i don't think it does on this one no they didn't change it but either way just the that it, the fact that it has a pulley done already is a big plus uh went ahead and uh uh, detailed all in here already initially there's still some work to be left to be done so I'm gonna finish all that off and uh, then I'll show you an overall look of the car once I'm done all right so it's the next day I ended up coding today which is just the next day all night at it prepping the car doing tons of stuff so right now I'm just coding the wheels Joe and I just uh, finished doing the entire car um, if you guys want to know exactly steps how to do the coating itself if there's enough interest i'll make a separate video for that because i got another uh viper rt that i'm about to do after this one the red one that one will be going up for sale as well so don't sleep guys if you want us these deals i'm gonna kill it but anyways what i'm doing right now i put the initial uh coating of ceramic on the wheels and what i like to do is when you're uh wiping it down i'll use one towel for initial wiping and then I like to use my other microfiber for the final wipe down. Same thing you do for the, for the, if you're doing the paint as well. You just wipe it down with your initial wipe down towel. And then just you hit it with the uh, final towel. And you'll be good to go. But look at that shine. That's not even with the Gliss top coat yet. I'm waiting for some Gliss uh, top coat to add on top of this. That's the one that makes the difference. The, those are the things that a lot of people don't talk about when you're dealing with ceramic coating. The gliss is the one that's gonna protect you from the water spotting, and that's the one that's gonna uh, seal off the uh, initial uh, ceramic coat. So, ceramic coat the first, and then you put the gliss top coat afterwards. And then when you wash your car, you won't have spotting. And when you hit it with the hose, water droplets will just separate instantly and your panel will dry pretty much instantly same thing for the wheels because if you just leave it with this ceramic coat without doing that gliss you'll still get water spots you'll still get the water spots but let me finish off and then i'll show you the entire car how it came out uh after i'm done with the wheel so i'm gonna put the hood grills on there and i just was thinking while i was putting them on was uh it's funny because you'd be surprised how many people ask uh why is there speaker grills in the hood <laughs> there's no speaker there i'm sure you could cut one out and put it in there but it's not a speaker grill and it's funny that they didn't put an actual vent there it's just closed off on this side it actually has a vent for the ac but it's not for like venting off the hood uh air pressures or anything like that but yeah but i thought that was funny while i was putting that on i was i was just thinking that so there's no vent hole on this side or speaker rather it's just a design thing all right we are finished one last step to do is the gliss coat like i was mentioning earlier um that won't be here probably till the end of the week thursday friday so i'm gonna kick this one out of here and uh go park it to the other garage and then um I'm gonna bring in the red RT but that's gonna be a whole different other scenario I may actually make a video on that one too to be honest so here's the car looks absolutely ridiculous beautiful car man don't sleep on this one guys this one's got a lot of stuff that's been done already looked it over this has got a uh, brand new zero mile tires hasn't even been on the road at all and uh undercarriage is extremely tip top i'll probably put that in another video so you can check that out if you're interested uh coated the wheels but like i said once i put that top coat on it that's where it's going to really protect it from all the the water elements and stuff so here's the interior as you saw before when i showed you it was in pretty bad uh it was it was dirty it wasn't in rough shape or anything but it's just just needed cleaning up this one's actually immaculate in all the interior panels and stuff. 
as far as the seat on the driver's side it's got some let me show you some wear i love that gas cap how that came out look at that look at that paint Just so nice car. All the jams. Just look absolutely perfect. And it, this one has uh, 50,000 miles. Right, like I was telling you, the the wear on the driver's seat from coming in and out uh, I think right there and some right here and the other side looked good and then just your typical creasing from sitting on it the other side uh, obviously as being a passenger it's not like that And I'll close the hood so you can get a good look at it, what it looks like now that it's all finished off. Look at that, that's just phenomenal. Look at the headlights. These are the gold mines right there, guys. You know it. Pristine, perfect condition. The uh, so-called speaker grills. <laughs> I'll open the back trunk and we need to get some rear struts for it because uh, these are wore down typical for Vipers so we're gonna change these out swap them and uh, there's that pretty much in mint condition Like I said, you know, the top, it won't stay open, but I'm going to, we're going to put the uh, new struts in there. And let me close the hood real fast and I need two hands for this. Okay, so what you want to do when you close the hood on Vipers, the hinges, the latches are right here and right here, not here in the center. So you'd like to put your palm around this area right here and then right here. So what you'll do is put both hands right here right here so before you close it always go down on those corner ends to like the first level and then you shut it then you go for it if you don't do that you'll have a risk of this right here binding somehow and then it'll stay up while this tries to close and that's not good you don't want to do that I really like how these turn out though at that slick as a baby's bottom you know slick slick there it is that's the that's the car we're gonna call a wrap on this one and then off to the next one and uh Hopefully you guys like the channel so far and what I'm putting out. If you do, you know what to do. Please follow, follow, follow. Click the bell icon and all that good stuff. It helps me with my uh, content and being able to just keep going and motivation to keep going, you know. So it's all uh, part of just keep you motivated for me. But anyways, I'll see you guys later and uh, God bless y'all. Peace.